Hello guys, welcome to another new video. Filmora just released a new update. What features had been added in this update? Let's explore this. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorial. So in this update, now we can export a selected part of the timeline. So as you can see, I add a project. Right, we want to export from this part to this part. To select this part or range, go export and click export selected range. Now as you can see, two option is available in here. You can also add this in another way. Go your start part and press I from the keyboard. Then go end part and press O from the keyboard. Here's I means in point and O means out point. Now when you play, you see it's start from in point part. Our range is selected, now we can export this selected area. Now you can export it as usual. But here you can see a option called add to project media. When you check this, your exported video automatically added to your project panel after export. So let's try this. So as you can see here are exported video. Now you can add this in your timeline. Then next update is GoPro Cineform Render Format. Now you can export any transparent video with this format. Let's see how to do this. I add a text and give text animation for test purpose. Add a PNG logo. Now as you can see it's our animation. Now click on export and select GoPro Cineform mode. Then go settings and go video encoder option. Then select CFHD Alpha for transparent video. Then export this. After export, import this file. Then add a video for test this. Add your exported video into upper track. And as you can see our transparent video. No black background is here. GoPro Cineform Rendering is a smart rendering option. It's best for further editing and color grading. The next update is new snapshot format. Now you can take snapshot as JPG format. Click on snapshot button and you can see a option is appear. Click on drop down and you can select format from here. You can choose JPG format for a smaller size and choose PNG for better quality. So let's see the quality. Go snapshot folder. You can see the JPG format is only 209kb and PNG format is 2.41mb. So now you can choose your format for taking snapshot. The next update is beauty filter. To add filter go effects and go utility option. And here you can see the beauty filter effect. Add this effect to the video. And here you can see the filter is on. Double click on this and go effect. 
Now you can customize the filter effect. Here you can see for different option. You can customize all as you like. So here are our beauty filter effect. So the last and final update is Portrait Preview Player. If you are short video editor for TikTok, Instagram or Facebook then this features is for you. So let's see how to do this. Go project settings and set aspect ratio to portrait. Now add your portrait video into the timeline. So here you can see option called vertical screen. Click this vertical screen icon and boom. You can see a portrait video player is showing. Now you can get better preview when creating short video. It's very fantastic features for this update I think. Click again this icon for go back previous mode. So this is all about this update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorial. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.